is a bit of a boot. Let's see how she goes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. <laughs> okay, didn't expect that. What does one expect from a Cadillac? Ah. This CT6 is a big vehicle. It's big and it's comfortable, but it's also very fast and very agile. And I love all the tech in the car. And then I noticed the button that clearly was for the massaging seat. And I thought, well, my back is kind of sore. Let me just turn it on, see if this thing even works. I gotta say, it really does work. It works extremely well. If you're in this car, whether you're in the front or the back, this particular model, you got massaging seats in the back as well. So talk about a cruiser. This is the kind of car that you could take long trips in. Definitely a car that, to me, styling wise, is one of the prettier cars on the road today. One of the things that I love about Cadillac right now is their family resemblance. That family resemblance you see within Cadillac. I wanna introduce you to the family. It's very distinct, and you don't mistake a Cadillac on the road. Like, it doesn't matter which model you're looking at. You can see the family resemblance in the entire lineup, which is fantastic. And I gotta say, again, I think the lines on the car are spectacular. I think the front to rear lines, like going from the hood of the car all the way to the back of the car, around the rear, those lines are just very distinct. They suit the car, they suit the style of the vehicle. I parked this car in front of a house and I just had to get out and say, hey, do you mind if I take a shot of my vehicle here in front of your house? And he's like, yeah, sure. He said, can I ask you, why Why did you pick my house? And I said, well, your house looks like this car. It looks new and it looks luxurious and it looks kind of modern, but yet mm, at the same time, nostalgic, I'll say, looks like a Cadillac. Even though it's brand new and looks like no other Cadillac before it, really. I think this is one of the features of the Cadillac that I love the most. And let's have a powerful twin turbo engine. Why not? And a beautiful engine bay as well. I really like it when car companies take the time to make the engine bay look like something powerful. Exclusivity comes with design. Yes, it comes with style. But at the same time, it's tough to have exclusivity if you sell a boatload of them. And the thing about Cadillac is, they don't sell as many Cadillacs as a lot of German brands out there. And I think there's a lot of people out there driving some of those German models uh, that could definitely come in and check out a Cadillac and be really, really pleasantly surprised by what they find. But not only that, get another level of exclusivity because they're just not that many of them sold by comparison. Why is that? Time. A lot of time. Cadillac's been around for well over a hundred years. Yeah, a hundred years. More, actually. 1902 was when it began. It was actually started by three guys. But one guy in particular, he was the kind of the brains of the project, the engineer. His name was Henry Leyland. And one of the things that he did with Cadillac was that he wanted to promote the vehicle's design and manufacturing and the prowess that America had with interchangeable components. And that's what made Cadillac the top of the heap for so long. Well, with all that time, people forget. People forget a lot of things. People forget that the Cadillac started from the Ford Motor Company. The first Ford Motor Company by Henry Ford failed, and it actually got bought out, and it got bought out by these three guys who started Cadillac from the remnants of the Ford Motor Company, if you can imagine that. And Henry Leyland, actually, when he got bored with Cadillac and wanted to do something else, he started yet another luxury car company, Lincoln. With all that history, well, that came time and lots of time passed. As a Cadillac owner, what else do you get? Well, you get things like massaging seats. <laughs> the massaging seat in this car is on right now. And I gotta say, I love it. it. Makes me wanna grab a few friends and go for a really long drive. Even the friends at the back will have the massaging seats in this model. They also have rear entertainment. There's also a lot of other tech inside the car that really just makes you not wanna get out of it. And another thing, the screens, let alone the DVD screens, the screens on the dash and everything are fantastic. The center console screen works extremely quickly. As you can see in a lot of the car industry, they're moving to sort of a, a panel-like kind of tablet-like look in the vehicle, and, and that's all fine and dandy. The problem is, is that not a lot of the systems are really intuitive. And I gotta say, I hop in the Caddy, I pair my phone, and just about everything is pretty easy to figure out. But not only that, the screens work very quickly. 
they're very easy to read and on a beautiful day like today where I got a lot of glares on the screens and stuff like that they're still bright and they don't uh, they don't immediately fade away in the bright sunlight the parking screens are fantastic not only are they exceptionally clear but features like zoom in now some of you out there might be like why do you need to zoom into your parking space come on learn how to park but believe me there's a lot of tight uh, tight parking spaces in a big city underground parking spaces things that you wouldn't even know were there I think a lot of people getting in this car will be fooled by the fact that the dash uh, does not actually have an analog tachometer, speedometer, and some, ad uh, some additional features. But I think what fools the eye is the two bezels that they have on the dash. It actually makes you think you're looking at a dial. And it's not until you start switching through the features that actually appear on the left and right hand side that you actually realize, oh my god, those dials don't even exist. That's how clear the screens are on this car. Uh, they, they really are fantastic and, and something to kind of behold by just looking and touching and, and, and sensing them. There's a lot of feedback as well, not to mention when you're parking. If I'm parking and something in the right rear of me is in the way, my seat will vibrate on the right rear of the seat, just in case you have the music up so loud that you can't hear the chime going off when you're backing up. The level of detail in the car is exceptional, I gotta say. I love details. Details in cars to me are, well, it's all in the details, isn't it? What are you talking about? I love the Cadillac Crest. It's always been something that I've always thought was really kind of nice. Maybe it's because my dad loved Cadillacs. But the thing about the Cadillac Crest is, you know, it actually comes from Antoine de Moff Cadillac. Antoine, Mr. Cadillac, he, he didn't start Cadillac. He actually founded Detroit. And the Cadillac logo is actually kind of an augmentation of his family crest. But you'll see this crest, this loco, which you can kind of get down to sort of a wedge shape. And you'll see that wedge shape in various parts of the car. Uh, whether it's on the steering wheel with the actual logo itself, or whether it's the rear view mirror, actually even the uh, sound system and the center console has details with that logo. Well, even the side mirrors actually look like a Cadillac logo when you look at them. All that detail, I, I gotta say, is fantastic. There's leather, there's kind of stippled leather, there's there's also carbon fiber, we also have a little bit of wood. So you're definitely feeling like you're in the lap of luxury. I gotta say, if you're looking for a luxury sedan, performance luxury sedan, take a look at a Cadillac. I think you'll be rather impressed. And the folks over at Applewood, they'll be able to help you out. I gotta thank them again for letting me use yet another Cadillac. It's funny, I, funny how, I really had no idea Cadillac would impress me this much. I really liked what they were doing on paper, but proof is in the pudding, um, and there's definitely a lot of proof here. Definitely worth the drive. Talk to the folks over at Applewood if you're looking for a Cadillac. Again, how is it funny? <laughs> this could be a good thing.